Welcome back to part eight. We're gonna go down to the cave again. <laughs> again. And again. We, we, we were actually down there, but we died right at the end of the video. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna start every part off from now on, just us up top. Just because we're probably gonna be dead. Coming worm. Yep, yeah, I hear him. Got him. There's a Which worm chunks all over. Oh, it along. Treading water. That's it. Oh. <laughs> you gotta be <laughs> careful. There's a drop right there. <laughs> I'll, I'll make this safer. There we go. Forgot to make platforms again. Again? <laughs> you need a notepad in this game. <laughs> yeah, I know. To do list. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, like, <laughs> How did you start out with no life? <laughs> we were sitting there this whole time and you didn't even think you could drink a potion. <laughs> I didn't even notice. You oh. have failed me. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming back down again. I'm not even on the right team. Uh, there we go. We actually, uh, yeah, um, I might as well mention the, uh, oh, it's just, <laughs> the size of the world. <laughs> I almost died again. Um, the size of the world is actually pretty big. This is a what, what size world is this? A small one? Yeah, it's just a small one. Yeah, a small world is actually about three miles wide. <laughs> if you go by the feet meter that's uh, listing on the screen right now, uh, we measured it by walking one person to the end and another person to the other end, and it, it said it was about sixteen thousand feet. It takes quite a while from walk from one end to the other, so the worlds are quite large, uh, depending on how large of a world you spawn. Um, the larger the world you spawn, of course, the more memory it takes. So, we did op the option is available to uh, make a smaller world for people whose computers aren't quite as up to par. <laughs> Here comes Mother Slime. Ah! That's that worm, there we go. <laughs> Seems like they're spawning as fast as we can kill them. Back up, back up. I'll cover you. <laughs> I'll take all the loot. The thing about single player is that you can actually get all the loot yourself. <laughs> I forgot to <laughs> You can get all the loot yourself, but um, there's no one to cover you while you're digging. <laughs> the same number of uh, potions that I had when I started. <laughs> oh, because I haven't used any yet. All right. Taking all your arrows. <laughs> <laughs> I still have quite a few, so. Right. I'll wait for you. Oh, no. Oh, I landed in water. Nice. I felt like 300 feet. <laughs> Alright. Just put a sign there. Safe to fall. <laughs> oh, I got some bombs. Nice. Those will be handy. Don't blow me up with them. Okay? I got a hook, too. I get a hook? Yeah, you can uh, you can make chains out of uh, iron bars in this game, and you can combine them with a hook to make a grappling hook, and it's uh, actually very useful to get around in. And uh, we'll show you guys later. Throw some bombs. <laughs> it takes me a really long time to kill one skeleton. <laughs> And then another takes his place. Great. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of iron back here. I actually remember to heal that time. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you got a worm. Uh, they always come after me. Don't go over there. <laughs> There's actually three types of bombs. Um, there's the grenade that actually doesn't hurt the ground. It only hurts players and enemies. Um, then there's the bomb, uh, the one that he's tossing. It'll do a small explosion, destroy the ground. And then there's uh, dynamite, <laughs> which is actually quite a large explosion. And you don't want to get caught in that. Because <laughs> unless you have a lot of life, you won't survive. <laughs> actually, even if you have a lot of life, you usually don't. <laughs> <laughs> Skelly fell. Iron. We need armor really bad. 
Yeah. <laughs> They're swimming. <laughs> you can hear them. <laughs> Just splash. Here comes the mother. Wow, the arrows don't really knock them back at all. <laughs> See, we could try to put a wall up here. Yeah. Just trap him. There. It took me forever to find the dirt in my inventory. <laughs> Ow! Alright. Are oh, you going for the silver? I'll go for the iron. I feel like you're gonna have better gear than me all the time. <laughs> Since we told about how, how wide the world is, I'm going to tell them how deep it is, too. Uh, I'm not really sure on the specifics on that one, do you know? It's, uh, it's usually about half as deep as it is wide. So it's like a mile and a half deep? Yeah. So it's pretty far. Pretty and that's a small world, so if you make a large world, you can imagine how deep it is. There's some iron right there. Torches you can actually make on the run, which is kind of nice. So it's always good to carry some gel and some wood with you. Ah! I think we'll go ahead and just make a workbench. Stick it right here. So we make a few platforms. These skinny passages are always hard oh, to fight man. worms in. <laughs> <laughs> They're everywhere. There we go. There we go. Silence is a good thing. <laughs> signs in this game you can actually just place them and it, they act just like a like a merchant does you know it's got the little bubble and you right click on it and you can actually edit it you might want to show them that because you know they can see your screen <laughs> yeah <laughs> there and i just uh you just saw me hit edit you type something in put random you know random words whatever save it and anytime anybody right clicks it they can see what you said it's kind of handy because right. you don't have to remove it if you want to change what it says We got another worm coming at us. The slimes have been stuck there for ages. <laughs> Can't figure out how to go around. It's complicated. Jeez. Taking the safe route, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right, and uh, we'll see you guys again in the next part.